What's going on YouTube? Well, that's Toppy's RC. So today we are back with how to wire 12S in configuration because I've had this question quite a bit. So we are using a Laperior Air 12S 5000 milliamp stick pack and we are running RC Pro S7 solderless connector. So in this video, we'll be using the solderless. I have been testing them. They work great. I'll explain how to use them. So this is the same if you're using a stick pack or two separate 6S batteries, which is what a stick pack is. You have a 6S battery here, a 6S battery here. So you think of this as 6S and this is 6S. And the reason why is for charging because most chargers won't charge a true 12S battery. So you have one and two. So what we need to do to create a series connection, I'd like to do my series connection at the battery. That way going to my ESC is just two lines. So the way that we're gonna do this is we need to take the negative from our top battery, which is gonna be this line right here, and we need to tie it into the positive of our bottom battery. This is going to create the series connection. This is going to create our 12S. And then we will just simply have a negative and a positive coming out of the battery at 50 volts, giving us 12S. So let's get the camera on a tripod, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. So for the video, I went ahead and taped the balance leads out of the way, and I taped the other power leads out of the way. So you can see we have a negative from our top battery. We have a positive from our bottom battery. So now we are going to be using the RC Pro connector. So what we want to do is we want to take our bullet connector, 7 millimeters. Now, if you didn't want to use RC Pro connectors and you wanted to use EC5s, you could do an EC5 top and bottom and then Y harness them, but I find this the easiest way to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our connector, we're gonna hold it up to the wire right here. We need to see how much of this wire we're gonna strip off because it's solderless. So we want about that much right here. So just strip your wire. Do this one at a time and be careful. So now we have our wire stripped back and that is about how much we need for it to sit down in there and get a good connection. We are gonna take our connector cover and we, I use the female bullet on power and the male bullet on the negative line. So we're gonna slide our connector cover over. Then we are going to make sure our wires are twisted tightly together. Take our RC Pro S7, spin it on with the way we twisted the wires to help minimize all the little strands from coming out. Now we're gonna come back with the set screw. Two millimeter driver, lock tight. We're gonna get one started. We're gonna come back with a second set screw, get it started. And our goal is to tighten both of these up as evenly as possible while pushing that connector all the way down on our wire. Coming back, tightening it up, being careful again while we're doing this. If you want to heat shrink or tape over your other wires so you don't make a short, you can. And get that connector as tight as possible. So now that we have that all the way tightened down, take some rubbing alcohol, clean off the excess Loctite. This connector is on there. It's not going anywhere. Take your sleeve and get your sleeve pulled up and over. And then we're going to use these little orange clips here to let us know that this is our series line. So we're going to put our clips on, push them down into place. Now this one is done. We're gonna do the exact same on the negative line. So now we're gonna take our male bullet, make sure we slide our sleeve over our wire. Again, twisting the wire. Take your RC Pro connector, twist it the same direction Push it all the way down. Again, coming back with your set screws, two millimeter driver, Loctite on the screw, touch them up, get them both snug down until they stop. And then we're gonna go back in and evenly start tightening. Sometimes I'll come back with a pair of vice grips to hold the connector, not squeezing, just holding it. So on the male bullet side, cause I don't like to put pressure onto these prongs just so I can get a good tight grip. And then of course, flip it over and do it on the other side. And then now we are done tightening this all the way up. Alcohol, clean off the excess Loctite, slide our connector on. Once we got our cover slid into place, come back with our orange little clips here to identify that this is our series connection. 
pop them on, and now our series connection is done. It is that simple. Now we're gonna put our end caps on and do our other ones. So now the only thing we got left to do is you gotta put your caps on. The easiest way I found this is a one and a half millimeter driver for the screws, but you pay attention to the direction. You want the bigger lip side to face the connector. I use my Dewalt gyroscopic driver, put it on a one and a half millimeter MIP bit and tighten it down. Grab your next screw. Of course, if you're doing this with a regular hand driver, then you're just gonna turn them till they stop. And now all of our connectors are done and we will notice that our series connection, number one is shorter and number two has orange bands. So when you take your series connection now, you would just take these two wires and plug them in. So now this is series. So now only these two here will go to your ESC. So now our ESC just has two connectors coming out of it. We have our positive and our negative. Now you'll notice they're opposite. On the ESC, the positive gets the male bullet, the negative gets the female bullet. So our series connection is made. So we just take our positive, plug it in, take your negative, plug it in, and your battery connection is done. When you are done flying, you just unplug your, series, your battery connection and you can leave your series connection connected unless you're ready to charge. When you wanna charge, then you would just open that up and you would charge as two 6S batteries. But what if you don't have a stick pack and you are running two separate packs? How can you do it? So here's what we would do. We have two 6S batteries, okay? And we wanna make a series connection, but we have two leads. So what you would do is make a jumper lead. So you can tell that this is two XC90s to a bullet connector. Now, of course they're opposite so they cannot touch, but you would take one battery and you would plug it into this one. You would take your other battery and you would plug it in to this side. And then this side would plug into your helicopter or if this is just how your wires came out of your helicopter and that's how you would do it. That is why I do my series connections at the battery so you don't have all these extra wires and connectors. There you guys go. I hope that answered some questions on how to do series connections and 12S batteries. Again, I prefer 12S stick packs just because it's a lot cleaner, a lot easier. You can make your own. You can tie both your 6S together and heat shrink them. If you don't want to do that, I showed you a way to do individual batteries, but this is how I do it. I tie my series connection here. That way it's just two plugs into the ESC and then you can still separate for charging. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And remember, Patreon and PayPal will be linked in the description below if you'd like to help support me. And I will link the Slaperior Air 12S 5070C. Take care and have a great day.